Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second edition of Roll the Dice on Zoom. Coming to you live on YouTube, via Zoom, that is. Uh, we're excited to bring you another awesome show tonight. Uh, we're going to be playing all sorts of exciting improv games uh, where everything's made up as we go along. Even the list of games we play, that's right. We don't even know what we're going to be playing until we get started. And in fact, everything we do tonight is going to be decided by a roll of a die. So we actually have this exciting dice roller here. And you can see we're going to roll this 20-sided die, and then whatever number comes up, we'll go to our list of games, and that's the game that we're going to play. And I'll be showing this to all of you live so that you can all hold us accountable and know that we really are just making this up as we go along. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, now we are going to need some help from all of you as we go through. Uh, I'm going to be periodically putting out a call for suggestions for things like animals, occupations, things you've heard recently, lines of dialogue. I'll, I'll prompt you all and then just type your suggestions in the chat as you have ideas. Uh, there is a bit of a delay, uh, so uh, I appreciate your patience. So I wait for those all to roll in. Uh, but if everybody's ready, if you're all excited and pumped, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so I'll introduce ourselves first. I'm Josh. I'm going to be hosting Roll the Dice tonight. Uh, the rest of my intrepid crew, if you want to jump on and introduce yourselves as well. Hi, I'm Jess. Hi, I'm Ben. <laughs> He's muted. Hey, I'm Nikki. <laughs> I'm Mark. Hi, I'm Cassie. I'm Tracy. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Again, collectively, we are Roll the Dice. We are part of Big Canvas, a nonprofit Omaha based improv comedy troupe that believes in comedy for everyone. Uh, so let's keep that in mind as well as we go through this. This is a family friendly show. So uh, keep that in mind as you put in your suggestions. Uh, we're here to all make you laugh and uh, wherever you come from, whoever you are, we hope you have a great show. Uh, so let's jump into it with our first game. Let's find out what we're gonna play, shall we? Number two. Number two is a game called ABC. And in this game, we are going to need three of our performers to hop on. I need to remember to stop the screen share. That helps. <laughs> you can all see everyone on the big screen. And then while this is all loading up, uh, if uh, those of you in the audience on YouTube want to suggest some reasons why a group of people might get together. And then in this game, we're going to play, play around with the alphabet a little bit. Uh, as we get started, uh, we're going to start with a specific letter of the alphabet. So we also will need, uh, once you're done putting those suggestions for places where people might meet, or rather reasons why people might meet. Uh, if you could also suggest a letter of the alphabet that we might start the game with. Uh, and then once we get some suggestions, we will go ahead and start. Uh, our scene will start with a line beginning with that first letter of the alphabet. Uh, the next line will begin with the next letter of the alphabet and so on until we get right back where we started. And it is excitingly difficult to remember the alphabet sometimes, as you will all see, it will be exciting. <laughs> okay, and the first thing I saw was uh, an end of COVID party. <laughs> Love it. Which, boy, can't we all look forward to that? Uh, and we're going to start with the letter Q. Uh, 
He was right. COVID did end as soon as the election happened. Right, so I can take my mask off now? Seems like it. I, you know, I've just been breathing in deep and I feel great. Today was the day. Unbelievable. All right. Taking it off. Very weird, isn't it? Just being back amongst, you know, human beings like yourselves. You're real, right? This is happening. Uh, why, why do I feel so good? So <coughs> like I can't taste anything. X-rays. X-rays are going to be needed for everybody. And now the hospitals can do them. You're right. Um, I think that's you know, there's nothing. If we've learned anything, it's that you can never be too cautious. Zoology says I can eat anything I want. Agriculture is edible. Beef, you know, uh, it's 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 got all of the the protein that you need. It's 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 plentiful here in in Nebraska. Can bat. It's just one of the best things I've had in such a long time. Don't go there. We, we're past it. Let's just move along. <laughs> Everyone feeling okay still? Is, you know, I mean, I can maybe step back here a little more. Finally, I <clears throat> finally I I can be healthy again. <clears throat> Just put this back on. <clears throat> how um how are we supposed to, you know, get back to normal? I, I'm gonna have to go see a doctor. Just like before. Keep keep it together. It's 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 probably nothing. It's you know the seasonal what aller whatever's. Yeah, let's let's be optimistic. My optimism is about here. Everyone else's optimism is about here. No no reason we should panic. It's they they told us everything was fine and um and i believe them because they uh alerted me via a postcard in the mail oh my gosh oh partying is not the same quite and seen <laughs> All right. Wasn't that delightful? Uh, <laughs> escapism. <laughs> no beer in reality. Let's, uh, let's all jump on to our next game before this gets a little too real. <laughs> 14. So 14 gives us a game called Self-Conducted Story. Uh, and this is a game for everybody. Uh, in this game, uh, we're going to be telling you a story. So what we need is the title of a story that has never been written. So if you could, if you could put that in chat, uh, and uh, I'll ask all the players to uh, leave your cameras off and then jump in one line, uh, one line at a time. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to tell you a story uh, collectively. And what's going to happen is we're going to bring you on a magical journey through this story, and our cast is going to be making it up as we go along. You'll laugh, you'll cry, your world will be changed. You're going to love it. And uh, while this is loading in here, uh, also want to let you all know that we are doing this virtually. Uh, 
and maintaining our social distance. Uh, Big Canvas as a theater did reopen in person in October uh, for people who feel comfortable both performing and uh, attending shows. Uh, there is a protocol manager to make sure all uh, health and safety COVID protocols are being followed. Uh, and we are actively monitoring the situation uh, to make sure that we're uh, only maintaining our shows when it is safe to do so. Uh, so if that is something that interests you, uh, we're located at Make sure I give you all the right address. Blackstone, Blackstone Commons in the Blackstone District uh, in Omaha. It's 3624 Farnham Street. Uh, and if you do not feel comfortable attending live shows currently, uh, when it is safe to go to after COVID parties, and this is all over with, please pay us a visit and join us all on stage to celebrate a return to uh, normalcy. And we've got some great suggestions here. I, I saw first the squirrel who fell in a hole. So we are going to tell you the story of the squirrel who fell in a hole. Once upon a time, there was a squirrel named Charlie. Charlie was a very fuzzy squirrel. Charlie liked to romp around and play all the time. And he used to just bound across the fields without a care in the world. One day, Charlie was bouncing along and suddenly there before him appeared a hole. <laughs> and he fell into that hole. <laughs> And Charlie was very excited, even though it was quite an alarming situation. For he's used to holes in trees. It's nice and snug and warm with his family. But here he was all alone. And that was where he would discover one of his greatest truths. And Charlie's greatest truth was that he never romped in anything other than his romper. So when he was romping in the forest and went into this hole, it was the first time that he realized that his accessories and what he was wearing could make the difference between success and failure. Mm -hmm. And so he reached deep into the pocket of his romper. And after having saved it for many years, took out his most prized possession. That prized possession was a locket given to him by his grandma that had a picture of him and his grandma. And so he took that locket, he fashioned it into a lasso <laughs> and he flung it up and wouldn't you know, it perfectly caught on to a blade of grass. And he climbed carefully up that locket to get out of the hole. And the blade of grass, bowing forward with the weight of Charlie in the locket, said, Charlie, are you OK? I'm helping you out of the hole. I just want to make sure that you're okay and didn't hurt yourself in the fall. And Charlie turned to the blade of grass and gathered his thoughts and thought to himself, what can I say to this blade of grass? And he said, Thank you, blade of grass. It's been, I never knew how I was going to get out of that hole where I found And that's when he realized that he didn't speak blade of grass. <laughs> <laughs> and singing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and that, that, friends, 
exciting, whimsical story of the squirrel who fell in a hole. We all learned something very important today. So let's all now find out, let's all learn what our next game is. Number 12. It's a fun game called Two Line Vocabulary. Uh, so this is a game for three of our performers, uh, two of whom are only going to be able to say two lines of dialogue for this entire game. So what we need is for you all to suggest or to put in uh, what, are, what are some statements that, nice simple statements you might have heard. And then once you've put in some statements, uh, if we could also get uh, some questions. Simple questions you might ask. Five words or less. While you're all putting in your suggestions here, because we'll need a couple of them, I uh, want to tell you about another exciting uh, virtual show opportunity. Uh, actually, I will ask uh, our esteemed performer, Tracy, uh, to tell us about uh, a project she's been doing uh, that'll make you all laugh called Puppet Corner. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. Um, yes, I, um, in, in this time of, of self-quarantining, um, I have uh, I've put on uh, personal puppet shows from here in my living room and, and putting them on to the internet via a, uh, a Facebook page for Puppet Corner. Uh, it's P-U-P-P-I-T. And uh, uh, I share it with the Big Canvas page. Uh, it started as a live show I had done with Big Canvas uh, on the stage and, and I brought it home with me. Uh, I have many little puppet friends here uh, in my in my home, and uh, and we just we like to answer questions. If you ever have any questions you've always wanted answered, um, you can send them to us, and and my puppet friends will will answer them to the best of their abilities. And right now, in the month of October, uh, they're all trying their hands or mouths at drawing. Um, uh, doing, uh, attempting to do uh, a drawing for every day in October of, of Halloween-y things in, in what we call Puptober. Uh, so that's the, the fun thing we're doing right now. You can find it on Facebook. Uh, you can find it on uh, YouTube. And uh, it's a very silly fun thing. And um, feel free to, to message us on, on, on either of the socials and, and, uh, and we'd be happy to respond via video. I, I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tracy. Uh, and I was just reminded, I forgot to ask for a third suggestion. We need to put all this together. Uh, can we have a location where a group of people might meet? Once we get all that, we'll put it all together and get our scene. Okay, we got uh, first location I saw was Alaska. So this is gonna be a scene set in Alaska for three of our performers. Uh, first, we need two people who are only going to be able to speak two lines. Uh, so, Mark, Mark has volunteered. Uh, can we look here at our lines here? Uh, Mark, uh, your first statement is, she had a splendiferous day. And your second line is, what's the weather? Care to repeat those back to us? She had a splendiferous day. What's the weather? Excellent. And <clears throat> who would like to be our second line giver? Cassie. Cassie, your first line is, did you take out the trash? Uh, 
and technical difficulties with the chat here. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm having the chat keeps scrolling back the wrong way on me. I'm looking now back at things from the previous suggestion. And the penguin walked slowly. <laughs> it took me a moment to find that since it's taken me a while. Uh, what were your lines again? Did she take out the trash? And the penguin walked slowly. Okay. Uh, and then Nikki, you've got the exciting task of making sense of this all. Uh, so good luck. This should be entertaining. Uh, let's recap one more time. What were your lines, Mark? She had a splendor for his day. What's the weather? And Cassie. Did you take out the trash? The penguin walks slowly. OK, and we are all in Alaska. And let's see two-line vocabulary. All right, folks. There's no way that we can get through ice fishing another winter here in Alaska. It's not going to happen. We don't have enough layers for it. So we're going to have to figure out how to get out of here. What's the weather? Are you kidding me? Can you not feel it? Like, just breathe it in and exhale. You can see the weather. It's, it, you're, you've got icicles on your eyelash. Come on. Did you take out the trash? Did I take it out? I hope that you're talking to him. She, she had a splendor for his day. So she didn't want to spoil it with the trash? Is that what we're, are we back on the trash again? Look, we got to, you pack in, you pack out, you take it with you. This is Alaska. This is the wilderness. You really think the animals are going to appreciate when your granola bar wrappers are all over the ice? Come on. Think through this. This is the winter. The penguin walks slowly. It's like you weren't even paying attention to the nature channel before we left. They, mm -hmm. they walked slowly when we got here. They're still walking slowly. What was the weather? Is it, did you put another layer on? Did you take out the trash? Maybe you're warm. Maybe it's because you went faster this time than last time. She had a splendid first day. Because you took out the trash? I, I just, I feel like you're putting way too much weight on this relationship. It's, you don't have to worry so much about her feelings and her day. It's your day too. You <laughs> deserve to be warm. What's the weather? <sighs> Look, just, just breathe. Just breathe. They're not, not that deeply. You're going to, you're going to completely destroy your lungs. Just, you know what? Just do what you're going to do. Do what you're going to do. Just. I, I don't feel like you're listening. Walk slowly. Is this? She had a splendor first day. She had a splendor first day. She had a splendor first day. You're right. You're right. We should slow down. We we should slow down. Maybe I'm just rushing things. I'm just I'm I'm cold. I'm hungry. I I know you. That was the last chocolate chip granola bar. We're just down to oatmeal raisin, and they're they're just not good. Raisins don't belong in food. I, you take out the trash? I, oh, oh, that, actually that, this is so embarrassing. That might be my wrapper. I, I'm sorry. I was, I, I was in a hurry. I was hungry. I, my hands were so cold. I had trouble hanging on to it. I, I just, I, I couldn't feel the insides of my hands. I, I'm really sorry. I just, it, this has been a lot. It, it's been a lot. And I feel like you guys are, I don't know. I, I feel like you haven't really been carrying the same weight I've been carrying. She's had a splendid first day. I know, right? Not me. <laughs> Not me. When's the last time? When's the last time I even had a good day? It was the day when I got the chocolate chip. The penguin walks Walk slowly. slowly. You're right. You're right. 
She had a splendid first day. And scene. <laughs> I think that was the most dramatic two-line vocabulary I've ever experienced. Bravo, everyone. Let's see what we've got next. <clears throat> Ooh, number 20. We're going to actually jump over to a second die. It's called roll the dice, not roll the die. Uh, so we're going to play a quick fire game. These are fast paced, funny, usually rather cheesy games. You're gonna love it. So I'm gonna roll a four sided die now. And we're going to play a game called World's Worst. And for this, we're going to be seeing the world's worst version of something, if I can stop the screen share. <laughs> and for this, uh, to start things off, if you could post some occupations in the chat, some jobs that you'd like to see the world's worst version of. As we're getting suggestions for occupations, uh, I'd like to give a couple bits more information about uh, Big Canvas. As I said, we're a nonprofit theater uh, supporting the mission of comedy for everyone. Uh, currently during the pandemic, uh, we're not doing any classes or workshops, but uh, when we return to normalcy, uh, we will be holding classes for all levels of improv experience from brand new beginners through people who've been doing it for years. Uh, everyone is welcome and everyone is encouraged to participate. Uh, details will come on that when we can return to hosting them. Uh, they're great, everyone can benefit, everyone will love them. Uh, we also, again, as a nonprofit, uh, we normally will be supporting our theater and its mission through uh, our shows at the theater as well as classes and workshops. Uh, but if you are so inclined, if you were interested in supporting uh, Big Canvas, uh, there is also a donate link on our website, uh, bigcanvascomedy.com. Um, and this year, as part of the CARES Act, uh, if anyone's interested, uh, donations up to $300 to nonprofits uh, count as an above the line donation, which means you can uh, deduct them even if you are not itemizing your deductions. Uh, so uh, no pressure on anyone, but we wanna let you know out there if you're seeing what we're doing or you've seen other shows that we do or heard about our mission and wanna support us, uh, we are always uh, appreciative of everyone's generosity. Uh, as you see some uh, suggestions filtering in, uh, feel free to keep them coming a little while longer. Uh, we'll, this is a quick fire game, so we will be going through a bunch of them. Uh, so uh, for this, uh, our performers will jump in as they have ideas. I'll call on them, and they will make you laugh with the world's worst version of various exciting things. And our first suggestion is world's worst social media manager. Yes. So they've got a million followers and they're angry at us. Just let them talk. Let them talk. Tracy. All right. Now I just attach this message to the pigeon's leg here. All right. Now <laughs> carry it on to the world. Go. Be free. <laughs> Ben. Okay. All right. We're going to get you to 1 million followers. Follow eight hours of you eating with your mouth open. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Listen here, uh, Facebook. I'm not sure how to tell you this. Uh, your performance this past quarter has been just really disappointing. <laughs> Mark. Okay, so it's gonna be great, guys. I've hired like a thousand Russian bots to like uh, help, <laughs> help, uh, help us get our message out. <laughs> All right, let's get another occupation here. Go to our list. Oh dear, uh, let's see the world's worst snake milker. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Jess. 
<laughs> oh. Nikki. So I don't know how to break it to you, but I'm lactose intolerant. I don't <laughs> think this is going to work out. <laughs> Mark. Yes. So I've got a snake here. It's a snake. By the way, it's a snake. And this snake, by the way, snake. <laughs> Tracy. Come on, I just need a few more bucks. I mean, please, just uh, you know, something to get me through the week. Come on, you know, you know, I'm good for it. Yeah, don't don't show your fangs at me like that, man. You know, we're we're, we're close, right? It's just something. I need something, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see another occupation here. Uh, zoologist, the world's worst zoologist. Ben. Well, hello, kids. Don't worry. Only 20 of our animals can actually eat you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I never wanted to be a zoologist. I wanted to be a lumberjack. <laughs> Cassie. Oh, I gotta find something else. I can't take this for. <laughs> Mark. Thank you. This particular zoologist is very quiet. <laughs> so this is a fruit bat, and this is a uh, vampire bat, and this is an African uh, flying bat, and I have great recipes for all of them. Just let me know, and I'll make sure. <laughs> Tracy. Uh, no. <laughs> I know this one. All right, now this is, that's definitely a cow, and uh, that uh, in the water is a uh, yeah, sea cow. Um, oh, that up there in the tree, it's, it's, a, it's a sky cow. Um, <laughs> this one here, it's like a, it's, it's like a, uh, you know, it's a, it, it's a cold cow and there's warm cows and uh, I, that's, that's it. Oh, Jess. So I was an animator, then I was a bartender, then I was a, a cow catcher, and then I was a dog catcher, and then I was an elephant catcher, and then <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's see one more occupation. Uh, we have tightrope walker. <laughs> the world's worst tightrope walker. Cassie. Okay, I know I might only be two inches off the ground, but that's <laughs> as high as I can go. I'm terrified of heights. <laughs> ben I'm the death defying sloth oh yeah <laughs> yes I have a bit of a cold it makes my ears kind of like build up with the snot and then I fall over a little bit it's awful <laughs> Tracy, <laughs> drag these here. <laughs> you know, it's really I feel like the exercise is more for me than for them. You get really hung up though when the, when the rope starts smelling the other ropes, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one one more occupation while we're on a roll. Let's see, a world's worst dog catcher. Yes. Put it there. Come on. <laughs> Mark. Oh, oh, that one's coming home with me. <laughs> Jess. 
I seem to have caught a dog. It makes my ears fill up with snot. And can't <laughs> see. <laughs> Rather catch a dog than COVID. Oh. So <laughs> let's see what we've got now. Uh, we're actually going to uh, continue mixing things up. We've already got that four sided die ready. So let's use it one more time. Uh, we are going to play a guessing game now. <laughs> So let's find out just what guessing game we are playing. Number three. Number three is a game called Returns. And this is a game for uh, four of our performers. Uh, we're going to have one is the host, host the uh, attendant at a return counter at a store. And the other three are unsatisfied customers who will be returning things. Uh, so what I'd like you all to suggest uh, is some common household objects that uh, can be returned uh, or that may be being returned. Uh, and then after you've suggested a number of those, uh, I'd like some quirks that uh, household objects might have uh, they don't have to have, or they shouldn't have any bearing on the objects you've suggested. Uh, just really unusual things. Um, again, our performers, aside from myself, cannot see the YouTube chat, so they won't see what you're putting in there. And if I could get four brave volunteers for our game. Excellent. So we have Jess, Ben, Cassie, and Nikki. Uh, and who would like to be the return counter attendant? The one who is going to be responsible for helping everyone actually guess what it is they're returning. Because I probably should have mentioned that. Jess, thank you. Uh, these people will be returning things. Uh, but as I said, this is a guessing game and they do not know what it is they are returning. And they will have to figure out what they're returning uh, based on the hints that Jess is giving them. Uh, so this should be lots of fun. Um, they'll go through one at a time and uh, we'll, we'll give them a little support uh, if they start going on the right track, like if they're returning a chair and they say sofa, you might give them a little clap. Uh, audience, you can clap if you want, but they won't hear you. Uh, other performers <laughs> will kind of clap along. Uh, if they get it dead on, we'll Woo! Yeah! so they know that Woo! we got it and can move on to the next thing. Uh, so <laughs> to start this off, I'm going to uh, remove our three performers. Uh, rather than muting you so you can't hear this, I'm actually going to send you to our waiting room. Uh, so you'll be booted out of here and we'll bring you back one at a time. Oh, not remove. I don't want to get rid of you permanently, Cassie. There we are. <laughs> uh, so let's consult what our first returnee is going to be returning. Our first returnee will be returning a boomerang. And they are returning a boomerang that is rusty, a rusty boomerang. <laughs> a rusty boomerang, got it. Wait, I can't do that, they will see that. <laughs> yeah, don't put it, <laughs> yep, don't put it, it in the chat. Don't put it in the anything. So our first returner is returning a rusty boomerang. Uh, our second returner is returning a blender that sings, a singing blender. Our third returner is returning a hammer that squeaks. Okay, we got a rusty boomerang, a singing blender, and a squeaking hammer. Okay. Feeling good? Let's bring back. All three of them, I think, right? What's that? 
All three of them should come back. Yep. So that way they can, uh, if they, they can laugh along or if they figure it out, they can be helpful to others. <laughs> Hi. All right, one at a time, one at a time here. How can I help you, young lady? I just need to return um, return this that I bought. Well, just place it here on the counter. Here you go. All right. Um, so what's wrong with this item? Well, to be quite honest with you, it just, it didn't meet my expectations. It, it just, <laughs> It yeah, really I, I can understand that. Yeah, you, you expect it to do one thing, and then it does a totally different thing. Exactly, and you know, I I bought it because I needed to use it, and it just it, it didn't work in the way I thought it would. You needed to use it. I mean, that's kind of strange on this continent. <laughs> um, well, use. I mean, I use that word loosely, I guess. Okay. Um, you know, maybe I should have said consume. I would not <laughs> recommend eating this. I, I thoroughly would not. It'll repeat on you. Um, uh, That's just a little joke. You should, shouldn't eat it, really. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't really going to eat it at all. That's good. Yeah. Hmm. It'll so, just come right back up. <laughs> yeah. I maybe consume wasn't really actually the right word. Um, maybe tool. <laughs> just... Well, I mean, I, I, I would see it more like, I mean, you, you can use it, but not really as a tool. I mean, yeah, you could hammer something in with it, I suppose, um, but that would not be its appropriate use. Um, but just throw it against the wall, see what sticks. Yeah, it just, it wasn't very sticky. No, it, it wouldn't be. I, and I mean, if you use a stick, it just, you know, it's not going to do what this does. What this does is something entirely different than what a stick would do. Yeah. And I didn't need a stick, really, per se. And a stick would do the same thing, but it would not do the second part of that thing. <laughs> Hi, Jess. Uh, I got your message. I figured I'd just uh, stop by. I'd, I'd come over. Um, I don't know if I'm needed anymore. I'm going to leave again, but I'll come back. Okay. I'll leave and I'll come back. I'll okay. go. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought through you. Um, don't let that throw you. <laughs> oh, he can, he can come back and leave and... <laughs> right. It's kind of like, you know, a repeater. <laughs> this is kind of like a repeater um, if you are looking just at the word. Uh, but what it, I mean, when you said tool, I'm thinking more weapon, you know? Yeah. Like a, or toy, if, if you know. Like a hammer? Kind of. Mm. Hi, I'm, I'm back again. Uh, I think you rang. I did. Um, but again, don't let that throw you. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just, I'll just hang out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fly away and I'll, I'll be back. Yeah, he just comes and goes, right? Yep. But usually like he, he goes and then comes back. Then he goes and he comes back. Does he ring the doorbell when he comes back or does he just <laughs> pop in? 
just um, it's kind of like when you're out in the field and you throw a stick. Oh, yeah, like a boomerang. There you go. Yes. But about this one, right? Did you get it wet, maybe? Um, I, I, I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> does the insurance policy cover if I get it wet? No, you want to get it wet because it's intended to have this effect. Oh, a boomerang that just sticks. Mm. And it's because it's made of metal. You just want to make sure that you get it wet. Oh, it won't rust. That's its t intended purpose. Oh, a rusty boomerang. That's correct. Yeah. So you're returning it then. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I, I don't want a rusty boomerang. Oh, okay. Well, it did say yeah. it right on the box. So. Thank you so much okay. for returning this. Next. Okay, uh, Just one at a time, one at a time, please. Look, look, I can't wait. Oh, anymore, sorry. Okay? You, I've got my go. truck parked out back. I loaded it up on the back of the truck and I backed it in. So I, I, I've had enough. I, I need to return this. You go, you got a whole truck for this? Yeah. Okay, I mean, overkill, but that's fine. Um, so is it not doing what it's supposed to do? Is it not? I, I tried plugging it in. I tried unplugging it. I, it's not, it's not working the way I hoped it would work. Right, plugging it in is necessary. Unplugging it would be a good way to test, but then you would want to plug it in again because plugging it in is kind of required. Well, that's why I did it. Right. No, I get that. But it's not its not working the way it's supposed to. It's not running smoothly? No. No, it's not at all. Hmm. It's running very non-smoothly at best. Hmm. Okay. So then it's choppy? Um, well, it's hard to tell because it was on the tailgate in the back now how it's operating. But yeah, um, when, I was, when I was using the uh, food processor function. Right, um, close. Uh, I mean, you can use it for that function. It's just not as good. Well, because of the, the liquids that I would put in it. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. I hate this thing. Mm. I mean, I, I thought that getting a blender was going to be a good investment. Right. And instead, no, I can't even stand to be in the same vehicle with it. But what about the entertainment value? Oh, yeah. Because you mean because of all the technology that it offers? No, I mean, because of the other qualities. Like the screen that it was supposed to have? Um. Well, I mean, that's just a, that's a feature. It's not really a, like a selling point. You know, I think it's the best when it's going and I'm trying to get some sleep and I need to be calmed down. No, I, it did not work for me at all. Like, I think that for me, the rain or ocean sounds are so much better than a white noise blender. Right. And I agree. And that's why I didn't get the earlier model. I got this one because it was more, I don't know, <sighs> euphonious uh, is the word I can come up with, I that's guess. That's not really a word. Okay. I, I made it up. Okay. It's more... Um, I'm starting to question your return policies. <laughs> no, I mean... I want to make sure you know what it is before you return it because that's our return policy. You must know what it is before you return it. It's and I blender. mean, and it plays music too. It does. It does while it's doing the other thing. While it's blending. While it's blending and while it's doing that other thing. Singing. Right. So if you don't want a singing blender, I'll give you your money back. No, it's completely out, out of key. I, I don't, I, I ordered the baritone earlier and instead I end up with the soprano. 
who wants a soprano singing blender? Come on. You're absolutely right. I, I'm sorry I questioned You're you. Gonna have I'll to just take, take that back. back. Yeah, and I can't, I, I, I'm, at this point, I've got ringing in my ears from it. So you're gonna have to just take it off the back of the truck. I'll leave it in the parking lot. Okay, that works. <laughs> Next. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, I'm glad I made it here. Uh, if you could just take that back, store credit is just fine. That was, that's, uh, that's I can take that back. Um, All right, but, that's good. Uh, you know, Every problem looks the same when you got one of these. <laughs> yeah, every uh, there, there's lots of nails in the world, uh, mm -hmm. wood that you really want to bear down in, um, and you just want to pick this thing up and it, and just hammer them all in the best you can. That's and right. I, I appreciate doing that, but this it, it just didn't work for me. I need to go another direction. So why didn't it work for you? Well, see, this um, this this hammer is uh, it's more of a it, it's kind of you know it's a little silly. My kids really like Harry Potter, and I got this idea in my head that the the hammer chooses the man, and the more I use this, it really didn't fit. So I thought maybe I'd just return it, and I would let something else choose me. I just figured that's easier, right? Oh, I get it, I get it, because you're not timid like you know something that would would do this. Oh, no. Well, thank you very much. I, I do work <laughs> out, but uh, I, I'm, I, I, I don't mean to get into too much. Uh, just uh, like to be able to get some store sort of credit if I can before we close here. I, I just have, I have one question. Did you, oh, sure, oil yeah. it? did you oil it? Did I oil it? <laughs> now that would take some doing. I, I, I didn't even know there was uh, there was hammer oil for this thing. <laughs> I mean, that's if you want to remove its function, you have that option. Wow. I'm learning things about myself and the world on this visit. So I thank you. Um, but to remove the function of, of a hammer, it, to, to have what a secondary blunt... function. Oh, oh, well. Well, if you turn it, I suppose you can dig up things in life and remove them. Is is that more of what you're you're talking about? No. Um, <laughs> not not quite what I'm talking about. Well, not a very smart man. I'm I'm here with you in the moment. That's what my counselor tells me to do. So Oil to remove a, a secondary function of a hammer. Okay. Of this hammer specifically. This one in particular. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, well, usually you oil something if it's squeaky or rusty or There you stubborn. go. There you go. <laughs> so if that's the case, then direct me to the hammer oil and I will bid you good day, ma'am. All right. I'll take that squeaky hammer back from you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yay. Another round of applause for our intrepid guessers and for Jess for helping them get all this figured out. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Nicely <Awesome>. done, yes. <laughs> it's almost that time, nearly the end of our night. Uh, we've got one more game in store for you. Uh, so we are going to go back to our four-sided die and roll for our last quickfire game to close out the night. We are playing number two is a game called 185. Uh, and this is a game that follows uh, the format of the old bar joke, 185 blanks walk into a bar. Uh, so we're gonna riff on that and tell you some really, really cheesy punchlines. Uh, but again, this is only up as we go. So what we need from all of you is suggestions for uh, a number of animals that might walk into a bar. Uh, just keep them going in the, in the list, this is quick, so we'll get to a bunch of them. And then once you've listed out some animals, also some occupations, some jobs that we might see walk into a bar. Well, this is all, all going, just keep them coming as long as we're, uh, as long as we're making you all laugh here, as long as we're doing our thing. Uh, Cause again, we'll run through a bunch of them. 
Uh, we might not get to all of them. Uh, no hard feelings. If not, you'll just have to come back to another show and give us more suggestions. Uh, but again, as we're rounding things out here, I just want to thank you all for your support, your participation, for laughing along with us, uh, for giving us your suggestions and your time. Uh, we'd love to see you back here for future shows. Uh, definitely make sure you like on Facebook uh, and on YouTube as well. Uh, follow us so you can see when we're going to be performing again. Uh, and again, love to have you back here. And let's start out uh, with our first animal, uh, turtles, 185 turtles walk into a bar. Jess. 185 turtles walk into a bar. They were looking for the hair of the dogs that bit them. Oh. <laughs> Josh. 185 turtles walk into a bar. <laughs> yes. 185 turtles walk into a bar and they all order drinks with slow gin. <laughs> Mark. 185 turtles walk into a bar and they all order drinks from the Top shell. <laughs> ben. 185 turtles walk into a bar, look around and see nobody is wearing jackets or sweaters or anything. Like, aren't you guys cold? We're all wearing turtlenecks. <laughs> ben. Oh, I just called you twice. <laughs> 185, that's okay. Josh, 185 turtles walk into an oyster bar and they order oysters on the half shell. Ah. <laughs> Let's get another animal, penguin. Jess. 185 penguins walk into a bar and they walk very slowly. <laughs> Mark. Uh, 185 uh, turtles walk into a bar and order uh, <coughs> eggnog, but when they get it, there's little rocks in it. <laughs> Josh. 185 penguins walk into a bar and the bartender says, What'll it be? <laughs> Tracy. 185 penguins walk into a bar uh, and uh, they, they tell the bartender, hey, just keep them coming, keep them coming. Uh, you know, my mate went out to collect food, so it's going to be a few months. <laughs> yes. 185 penguins walk into a bar in Gotham City and they go looking for a joker to cheer them up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Deer. 185 deer walk into a bar. Tracy. 185 deer walk into a bar, or they attempt to, but they just can't clear the doorway. <coughs> Josh. 185 deer walk into a bar and they're waiting for the bartender to serve them and they're waiting and waiting and the bartender says you're crazy if you think I'm going to get you any drinks there's not a buck among you <laughs> uh, 185 deer walk into a bar uh, order a round of drinks and the bartender gives them 184 <laughs> Uh, when he asks where, where the extra one is, it's like, oh, I didn't hear that dough. Yes. Ah. Yes. 185 deer walk into a bar and they rack up quite a bill. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, cats. <laughs> Josh. 
185 cats walk into a bar and out of a bar and into a bar and out of a bar. <laughs> and 185 cats walk into a bar and order a round of drinks and immediately fall on their backs with their paws up. No, give it, no, serve right here. No, right, right here. <laughs> Mark. 185 cats walk into a bar and then they toast to their memories. <laughs> Uh, yes. 185 cats walk into a bar and they're just sitting there talking to the bartender and the bartender says I heard you went through some tough times one of the cats <coughs> says eh, I always land on my feet <laughs> Nikki 185 cats walk into a bar and the bartender says hey can I get you anything and the cats completely ignore him, make him feel like less of an important being on the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's switch things up and do an occupation. 185 clowns walk into a bar. Jess. 185 clowns walk into a bar. They carpooled in one car. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, 185 clowns walk into a bar, and uh, one of them goes up to the bartender and says, I'd like something special. I'm, uh, I'm commemorating a dear friend I, uh, I lost last year. Uh, he's got really big shoes to fill. <laughs> <laughs> Mark. 185 uh, clowns walk into a bar. The bartender said, "Oh, would you like to try our chocolate cake?" And and the bar and the Jess, 185 clowns walk into a bar, and uh, they all order just alcohol, no mixer, because they brought their own seltzer. <laughs> ben. 185 clowns walk into a bar, uh, order the house special, take a sip, and ah, uh, th does this take fu taste funny to you? Uh. <laughs> Josh, 185 clowns walk into a bar, and the bartender says, hey, no funny business. <laughs> Tracy. 185 clowns walk into a bar. Uh, they spend the whole night drinking, and as they're about to leave to, to drive themselves home, bartender says, oh, no, we got to do the responsible thing first. I want to make sure you guys are all right to get home. Uh, Going to need to do a breathalyzer. Uh, can you all blow into this balloon here? And then just... <laughs> there you go. Uh, 185 clowns walk into a bar. And everybody, including the bartender, immediately rushes out of the building. One of the clowns, we have got to stop going out to bars during Halloween in our makeup. Dang it. <laughs> Mark. 185 uh, clowns walk into a bar. The bartender says, oh, is there a political con convention in town? <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's jump back and do another animal. Jackrabbit. <laughs> 185 jackrabbits walk into a bar and one of them goes up to the bar and says hey where all the turtles go <laughs> yes 185 jackrabbits walk into a bar they were looking for some jill rabbit <laughs> <laughs> dig it Yes. 185 jackrabbits walk into a bar and they were looking for a pail of water. <laughs> Josh, 185 jackrabbits walk into a bar and uh, one of them goes up to the bar and says, hey, could you give me the drinks for free? I'm, I'm something of a celebrity or in places like this. And the bartender <laughs> looks in funny and then the rabbit says, my name's Daniel. Jack, 
Grab it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Crazy. 185 jackrabbits walk into a bar. Uh, one of them comes up to the bartender and says, uh, oh, um, uh, I'm the designated driver tonight. Uh, just a Coke for me. So Jack and Coke. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Ben>. <laughs> uh, 185 jackrabbits walk into a bar and one by one they order their drinks and immediately poof, put the money down and pay for it and run out. Pay for it and run out. Uh, nobody's quicker than a jackrabbit. Mm -mm. <laughs> Nikki. 185 jackrabbits uh, walk into a bar and the bartender says to one of them, hey, jackrabbit, uh, what can I get you to drink? And he says, actually, I'm John Rabbit. I don't really understand the correlation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see one more. Let's, uh, let's close it out with anteaters. Mark. 100, 185 anteaters walk into a bar. And I haven't seen Aunt Mary since. No. Oh. <laughs> ah. Yes. 185 anteaters walk into a bar and the bartender says, oh, why the long face? Ah. <laughs> ben. 185 anteaters uh, walk into a bar, order a drink uh, for everyone to celebrate. Oh, we just came from a Bugs Life after party and we cleaned it up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 185 ant eaters walk into a bar uh order their drinks and uh before the bartender can even uh offer them one they say oh don't worry about the straw i can handle it myself <laughs> <laughs> josh 185 ant eaters walk into a bar and after they're there for a while the bartender says you know you're all starting to bug me <laughs> yes. 185 anteaters order some wine and they put it in the glass and they swirl it around and they say, it's got nice legs, like an ant. <laughs> yes. 185 anteaters go into a bar and the bartender says, I can only serve 100 of you. That's as many snifters as I have. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We'll call it there. Nice, nice nose joke to round things out. So that's our show tonight, everybody. Hope you all had a great time. Uh, love to bring all our performers back on here to see you all off. Uh, hope you all had a, a lot of laughs. Again, collectively, we are Roll the Dice. Uh, we are a performing troupe of Big Canvas. Uh, believes in comedy for everyone. Uh, again, collectively, we are Roll the Dice. Individually, I'm Josh. I'm Jess. I'm Nikki. I'm Ben. <laughs> I'm Mark. I'm Tracy. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, everybody. Hope you all.